Hello people YouTube, how are you today? It is me, Abby, and today I am doing a video that I have been contemplating literally for the longest time now, which is ranking all of my Jeffree Star palettes. As you guys know, I do have every single Jeffree Star palette. The thing is, though, I, um, I've never thought to rank them, so I'm kind of like iffy on it, because I'm like, which one's my favorite, which one's not my favorite? So, sorry about that. Kit knocked over a palette and I forgot what I was saying. But anyways, I'm going to be ranking all of my Jeffree Star palettes. I am including the Morphe palette in this ranking that he did, even though him and Morphe are not affiliated anymore. But yeah, today I am doing that. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get started. Also to let you know guys, I'm going to be starting from my least best to the best in my honest opinion also i'm not saying that they're the, like least bit or i hate these palettes they're not my favorite like i still use these palettes whenever i can when i do my makeup i'm always testing new makeup and i have a hundred palettes and jeffree stars eyeshadows are literally my favorite formula so yeah it's not that it's like i don't like the palette it's more that the formula wasn't my favorite or the color story of it so we're gonna get on with it right now Okay, starting off with our least best palette is the Mini Orgy palette. Um, I talked about this in my video that this wasn't my favorite because as you guys know, I'm not a neutral nilly. I like to play with color. And I had a lot of trouble with a few of these eyeshadows, like this one right here, Glass Wet. It was supposed to be like a topper shade, but even then, I could barely see it on my eyes. So this palette's just not for me. And also because it's an all shimmer palette, I know I'm not going to use it as much as his other palettes so yeah but at the same time it's not a bad palette it's just shimmers but it goes well with our next one we're talking to about because after that we have the orgy palette this is jeffrey's biggest palette to date and i don't hate it in fact i thought these all these colors that i use blended really well it's just the fact that i am not a neutral nelly like i keep saying like i love color and like this palette, it's like perfect for my sister or my mom, but I know that I barely dip into this because I'm that kind of person who just loves to play in like blue and green eyeshadow, like I've mentioned throughout the years. But I don't hate this palette whatsoever. I love the formula of it. It blends super well, they're creamy, and I really like the black shade in here. Okay, next up is the Morphe x jeffree stark palette i told you that was going to be in here and yes it is a little bit more on the bottom it's literally just because of the fact that i never gravitate towards this palette i don't know what it is but i love these like these two green colors i think they're absolutely beautiful but i don't know why i just i never feel like grabbing it i never get inspired by this palette even though the formula is amazing it's buttery it's creamy it's in fact i think this is one of morphe's best palettes they've come out with besides the james charles one and I love these shimmers, but it's just, I don't know, I, I've reached for it like maybe three or four times within the last, within the last time I, I bought this, when I did buy it, so, yeah. Next up is the uh, Mini Conspiracy Palette. Um, this is also at the bottom for many reasons. I'm not going to get into the whole Shane debacle because I, I it's, it's not my place to talk about it, and I, I I'm not about Shane right now, but I can appreciate the makeup. We're talking about the quality of the makeup or the color story, why I, why it is on the placement that it is for my ranking video. And for me personally, I feel like if I were to use this palette alone, I can't create a cohesive look with it, even though I do play with color all the time and I'm that kind of person that likes to get outside the box. Like, I love the color story of this palette. I love every color. I just feel like they don't go together. Like, none of like besides the brown, it's our only neutral, but I feel like if you were to use the brown you have to you don't have anything to darken it up with and you have this super dark um a burgundy metallic and these two like light transition shades a bone color where i need like one like dark shade to put on my like outer corner to use this palette and that's why it's just in the bottom it's it's the it's just the color story i feel like i have to use the normal conspiracy palette to f figure out a cohesive look with it just because if i use it by itself i can't think of anything Next up is the Beauty Killer palette. This is my new one. I um my other one was like beat up to shreds, so I bought me another one. But uh, I feel bad for saying this. You know, I just never reach for it. That's the thing. I used to reach for this all the time when Jeffrey first came out with it, and it was like mine was like literally so beat up like I had three shades that were gone because I had used it so much. 
But the thing is, it's at the bottom just because I, even though I have created many cohesive looks with it, I feel like it's very universal. You can have color, you can have a vampy look, you can have a neutral look. I just, I don't know. It just, it never, it doesn't speak to me on the daily, you know? So it's at the bottom. Next up is the Androgyny palette. This palette, I'm not even joking guys, was probably my favorite palette for like two years straight in high school. And I also went through like these two shades as well as this one for a contour because this one right here is an amazing contour. And in fact, I've been thinking about playing with it again just to use that shade as a contour because I haven't used it in so long since I found my Hula Bronzer and um, Physician's Formula combo that I love so much. But you know, um, it's, it's closer to the bottom middle row because of the fact that it's the same thing. I don't play with it that much. And the colors aren't super bright. Like these, like, like if you cover this part up, that's neutral. Not for me. I'm not a very neutral person. It, for, for some reason, neutral looks are harder to me than co super colorful looks. And these ones are so muted, colorful, that they don't speak to me unless I'm doing something really, really dark. But other than that, they're all really good. My only problem is, like, fetish. I, I've never been able to put it in a look where I I personally like it. Even with this color store. Like, even if I were to just do this in the crease, this on the outer corner, and, like, p try to put this somewhere, I don't know why. I, I never feel like I like how it looks on me. So that's also why it's on the bottom. You guys have to promise not to kill me for this one because this is, like, I feel like this is Jeffrey's most popular palette that when it first came out, it, like, shook, like, the eyeshadow game, and it's the, um, it is the Blood Sugar Palette. I'm so sorry, guys, but I don't know what it is. This palette just, I love the color story so much in here, and I've played with this hundreds of times, but it's not, like, my go-to palette for some reason. I love the color story so much. Like, it all speaks to me, and I have used it many times. Like, you can see some of these shades are, like, worn. They are worn. But, but, there's always a but. I haven't touched this in, like, a year. if Like, a good year. So that's why I put it, because the other palettes I am talking about today, I have used many times this year, or I have used them more recently, and this one I have not touched in a year. And every time I look at it, I'm like, I still love it. It, it, it warms my heart when I see it. <laughs> Obviously, ha, 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 heart. But, um... Like, Cherry Soto is my shit. Like, Cherry Soto is the most used color in this palette besides Candy Floss. And looking at it, I do feel like playing with it again because I love those purple shades in here too. But I, I don't know. Like, every time I play with the reds now, reds have been, like, that one color that besides neutrals have been, like, irking me. So, maybe I, I need to give it a try. Next up is the Thirsty palette. And this one's on my list because Jeffrey discontinued it, which I 100% believe he shouldn't have. Because this palette is both very neutral and very colorful, and I feel like it got a lot of use. I don't know why he took it off, because I personally love this palette. This used to be one of my favorite palettes of all time. And that's also one of the reasons why it's lower than the rest of these palettes, is because of the fact that it is discontinued. I love this palette because it is definitely a summer palette. These, like, warmer shades, the corals, and these two brown warm shades speak to me a lot. Because if I do use something neutral, I like it really, really warm. It, like, fares well with my skin tone. And those colors just always were great for me. And those glitter shades that are in here, literally, probably my favorite thing on planet Earth. I used to dig in these all the time. Like, just look at that silver. And I, I still love this palette. I just... I feel weird using it now because I feel like for some reason if I use it once I'm going to run out and I'm never going to be able to get this palette again so I don't touch it <laughs> anymore and I kind of just look at it even though I think that's stupid because even if it does if I if for some reason use it all up within the next week there's somebody online who'll sell again who sells their old ones but at the same time I'm just like I don't know the only two colors you know it's funny I have played with this, this entire palette, every color except for these two blues, which is surprising considering blues are my favorite eyeshadow to play with, and I've never, like, never touched those two blues. I need to start. Next up is my cremated palette. Don't mind how it looks. My cat got into it on my birthday and ripped it to shreds, and I taught, I'm not, I didn't mention this in my birthday video because this happened right afterwards my uh, birthday get ready with me. 
but um, literally right after I got ready and me and my parents were going to the bar, um, I came home and it was like this and the little pieces of paper were all on the floor and I literally had to hold myself back from tears and killing my cat because of the fact that even though this part is ruined, the eyeshadows themselves are still like perfect and okay and I love the formula of these like oh my god like do you see that shade right there I've played with this a few times and I loved it I did my birthday look with this palette and I loved how it came out this palette speaks to me because as you guys know I am personally a big fan of like gothic makeup and gothic inspired makeup and also the fact that I'm a big metal head myself all I wear is like black clothing and it it kind of spoke to me, especially on a personal level from when I was in high school and I was a goth. So, you know, that's why it's a little bit higher up. I, 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 I love this palette, to be honest with you. Okay, guys, we went from, like, the lowest to, like, mid-row, like, getting closer to, like, my absolute favorite favorites. So next up is the Conspiracy palette. Again, I am not going to be talking about the whole Shane Dawson debacle. I'm going to just be talking about my personal thoughts on the palette itself. I do not want to get into that. It's not my business. And like I said, it's not my business. I'm just here to talk about the makeup and why it's cl more of my favorite than anything else. This palette, it, the reason why it's higher up than any of the other palettes is because of the fact that I love the color story. I like the fact that there are some unique colors I have never seen before, like this bright ass neon yellow. I have never seen a blue that's like a muted teal color. Sorry, I'm trying to show you without the mirror falling down on it. I'm going to just go on this side then. This muted uh, teal color, it, I love it. This, um, it's weird. It's like a silver, but it's not like that neon, uh, not neon, uh, super duper bright metallic silver. I love those. But, like, a lot of people don't like that super iciness, and it's both, like, icy but yet kind of muted, and I love that. Also, this ham color, the pink pig, I love that. I don't have an orange like this, so that's, like, literally those are the reasons why. It's because those are colors that I, do, I have not seen in a palette before, and that's why I like it. And also the fact that I do like the packaging. The packaging of it is really cool. I love the emblem on it. I love how, like, it messes with your head with the little spirals. And that's literally it. Up next is the Mini Breaker palette. Um, I adore this palette so much. I have used it three or four times maybe because I I didn't get it until um, after the, um, even though Jawbreaker launched, I didn't get this till like month, wait, months after, after like this one on sale. And I was just like, okay, I'm gonna just buy it. But I like these uh, shades in here because even though um, they're more, or like, purple-pink, and I've mentioned this before, like, I'm more of, like, blue-green if I play with color, like, kind of fan, and even though I haven't played with it that much, I have loved the looks that I have gotten from this palette. It's so pretty. There's a few shades I still haven't played with yet, like, this, um, Bite Me and Slice, because of the fact that, for some reason, I'm so weird about, like, dark shimmers, which I don't know why I shouldn't be. Because, like, I can think of so many looks, but I, I can go back and forth on this. But I just, it's weird. Bubblegum and Foreplay are literally, like, my two favorite shades in this palette. Like, this pink is, like, a magenta hot pink. It's, I love it. It's so pretty. Okay, up next is the Bloodlust palette. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. When this palette originally came out, I was a little disappointed in it. Because of the fact that I thought this was gonna be, like, a super bright neon purple palette and when I saw it it was more it does have purples but it's variants of purples which isn't bad or like things that would co like be cohesive with purple which again I'm not mad at I love these colors like this um vile serpent color is like speaks to me on different levels and every time I've played with this palette I have loved every single look that's come out of it it's just the color story for me. The reason why it's not, like, all the way at the top, it's because of the fact that I've only played with this two, like, maybe three or four times. And even though I loved every look, you know, I wanted more variants of purple. I really wanted to see, like, a true Barney purple and maybe, like, a bright, like, almost neon lilac. Because lilacs are, like, the most beautiful color ever. But I wanted to see, like, a super duper bright one. Like, to pop on the lid or using the crease for one of these other colors. But, you know, I don't hate this palette. It's a beautiful palette. And this re metallic red shade, I mean, oh my god, that's gorgeous. 
uh, Kit wanted to say hi real quick. This is, you know what's funny? She will hug me. Like, I will pull her away, and then if I put her back, she just, oh, she doesn't want to do it. But she'll just stay on my shoulder like this, too. I can literally be filming, and she'll just stay right here and... Kit. Kit. I guess we're going to have her for the rest of the video, guys. Uh, up next is the Alien palette. Um, I have mentioned this palette so many times, like literally so many times. I'm sorry, it's so hard with her on my shoulder to show you. But I, I, this is the one palette where the neutrals I like more than like the bright colors. Because of the fact that the neutrals are weird. I don't know what they are. It's weird. I can't explain them. But this one's like super warm mustard. This one's very cool tone and like almost grayish. And I love, I love them. Every time I have made a look with this palette, I, I will use, I, I love it so much that like, I go out. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, this video took a turn for the, the weird. But every time I use this palette, I literally want to go out of my house and like hang out with people because of the fact that I love the look so much. But I, I didn't put it at the very, very top because of the fact that, again, this palette is also discontinued. So it bothers me that I, I, I know I shouldn't even be putting it in this video because no, not a lot of people can get their hands on it. And the people who do, who do have their hands on it, you know, they're going to keep it tight. And the people who don't have it, it's hard for them to find one that hasn't been super used or isn't a fake. So, yeah, that's why I'm not putting it, like, at the very, very top, but... I still wanted to bring it in, including Thirsty, just because I want you guys to know that I do love these palettes. We're at the last two palettes, and I don't think it's hard to guess which ones they are. Like, if you guys know Jeffrey, I think you guys already know which ones I'm talking about, but which order? What's the order I'm talking about? You know? You know? In second place is Blue Blood. I was going to say up next again, but second place sounds better considering this is second place. Blue Blood, literally, just because, like, I am again, I, I don't know how many times I can say this. I prefer blue eyeshadows. And when he came out with this palette, I damn near, like, fainted with how beautiful it was. I love this palette so much. I've used it so many times. This color right here, Blue Blood, is my favorite shade in the entire palette besides, um... Ocean Ice. I have played with this so many times. I love every look I've created. Celebrity Skin is such a gorgeous shade. And I love the lipstick so much too. That Also the fact that I just, I, I, I die for the packaging. It's such my style. I love like the coffin um, casket theme. It, it's so cool. My stepdad, you know it's funny? When I got the, um, the this palette in my uh, mystery box, my stepdad thought it was weird that it was a coffin and he at the same time he thought it was cool and I ended up selling it to his boss's daughter she liked it you know other family member did not want it they don't play with blue eyeshadow I thought they would like it but other than that I just, like this is my favorite palette of all like almost my favorite palette of all time I, I use it so much coming in at number one is the jawbreaker palette I find I don't think it's hard to believe that this is my favorite palette from this collection. I've mentioned how many times, like, color is just my shit. I love color. And this palette is literally just color. I have played with it so many times. The yellow speaks to me on so many levels. I love the metallic yellow in here. It, it's literally so beautiful. The metallic orange. There's a metallic red. There's metallic pink. There's this beautiful one called Sour that, oh my god, I used for my birthday last year, not this year. And... Oh, I, I, I love it. I it literally can just die, die in this palette. This palette is my favorite palette he has ever came out with. And I wish that he would come out with more palettes like this that are like super bright, neon, obnoxious colors. Like the uh, Neon Poison Pigments because of the fact that I just, I love bright ass colors. It's my shit. I can go full clown and I will be happy. But also if you are neutral daily, there is one pop of brown in this like, nudish orange right here as well as uh these like shimmers that literally will go with any look but yeah that is it
Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me ranking all my Jeffree Star palettes. Remember to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. Click that little bell icon to see more videos from me. And also, share with your friends. Like, I'm trying to get more people into my channel, guys. And you guys have been helping. I love the comments I've been getting a lot lately. You guys have been super sweet. I want to say thank you again because I hit 180 subscribers. And I know that's not a lot c compared to the average, like, YouTuber. But for me, it does mean a lot because I feel like I am not an entertaining person whatsoever. And the fact that there are people who watch me every week when I do post a video, it means a lot. So thank you guys. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye. Shoo.